my brothers and sisters in Islam, there come important opportunities in our lives that are like no other. Whereby we are able to achieve in them what we could not have achieved in others. At the same time, our hopes and intentions may go on and on without ever achieving any of them. Today, by the grace of Allah and His mercy upon us, we welcome yet another of these amazing opportunities, the month of Ramadan once again, the month of the Qur'an, the month of reu renewing our contract and promises to Allah, the month like no other month in the year. So, praise and gratitude is to Allah, the one who has extended our lives to reach Ramadan, and so we ask him to complete his favor upon us by accepting our fasting and worshiping in it. Amin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O you who believe, fasting has been prescribed upon you as it was prescribed upon those who were before you in the hope that you attain piety and protect yourselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said, The month of Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was sent down from the preserved tablet, a guide for all people and a distinguisher between truth and false. So whoever is living at the time of this month, let them fast this month. But whoever is ill or on travel, they may make up those days on other days. This is because Allah wants ease for you. He does not want hardship upon you. So complete its days so that by the end of it, you gratify Allah in celebration of guiding you and in the hope that you become grateful beings. My brothers and sisters, the Prophet wasallam said, when Ramadan arrives, the doors of Jannah are opened and the doors of hellfire are closed and the devils are chained up, agreed upon. Some young people asked me, why do I still get bad thoughts in Ramadan when the, the devils are chained up? The answer to that is what the scholars said, it is in general. Most of the devils are chained up, but you still have the shaitan that accompanies you and whispers things, but they are weaker and they don't have much strength. Secondly, the shaitans leave a little bit of memories for you just before Ramadan in the hope that you will reflect on what they told you before Ramadan and remember them. But the truth is they are much weaker and everybody does feel in Ramadan that they are stronger in worship, don't they? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said something amazing about the first night of Ramadan. Do you know what happens in the first night? He said, when the first night of Ramadan arrives, the devils and the more evil devils are chained up. The doors of hellfire are closed and not one door can be opened. The doors of Jannah are opened and not one of its doors can be closed. A caller then calls out an angel. O oh, he who wants goodness, come forward. And O oh, he who wants, who wants evil, desist and stop. And every single night in the month, Allah chooses many worshippers who are saved from the fire as a guarantee. In Ramadan, the acts of goodness and worship are numerous in number and type. So choose and do whichever you fancy. For all the goodness is rewarded, multiple folds, in a way like no other month. Let Ramadan be your supporter and witness to get closer to Allah and escort you into paradise. I say paradise, that's the correct word for the highest place of Jannah called Firdaus. Otherwise, Jannah is called gardens. Firdaus is what the Prophet ﷺ said. Ask Allah for the highest place for Firdaus and don't settle for the lowest. Recite, read and ponder and reflect upon the Quran every day and night of this month. Give in charity, pray the days and nights, add extra acts of goodness and worship which you didn't do before. Reflect upon your shortcomings and see what you need to improve on. The most important being your own character. Look at your relationship with your parents and children, siblings and relatives. Look at your good habits and improve on them. Look at your bad habits and work on putting an end to them once and for all. Take them one at a time and make the decision, and you will see how much willpower you actually have. Beware of spending its nights on forbidden things on social media. Go to sleep 
on listening to the Quran or reminders of goodness or du'as and prayers, you can say, beware, beware of the biggest killer of good deeds, your tongue and your fingers, in backbiting and gossiping and insulting others. And know that the biggest type of gossiping, backbiting, insulting and teaching bad things to others is when you write it on social media. It stays and you are judged for it, even after your death. Beware of the sinister plots of marketing campaigns and advertisers in Ramadan as they seize the opportunity to sell you services and things that are forbidden. Do not let them destroy you. My sisters... And brothers who cook, make your intention in cooking iftar meals to get the reward of breaking people's fast in Ramadan. Think of others as well who may not have family, such as international students and those who have become Muslims and do not have family to give them comfort or support during Ramadan. Remember that the Prophet ﷺ said, whoever makes food for a fasting person will break their fast. For them to break their fast on it will have a copy of their reward. So who is ready to do their goodness in Ramadan and exert their energy to reach the highest places of paradise? I say what I say and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us and our sins. So ask Allah to forgive.